Hi guys and ladies, you probably know that I enjoy fishing. I love cooking my catch too. I have a freezer full of little bluegill fillets. Well, I stumbled across this new recipe. It's a westernized version of Thai fish cakes. Best of all, it's low carb, and I was wondering whether my fish would work with this recipe. Let's see if it turns out. Here I need to chop a tablespoon of cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, just use parsley or skip it entirely. I have over a pound of bluegill fillets and I'm going to rough chop them. I suppose you could use crappie, catfish, cod, tilapia, or any white fish. In Thailand, they probably use carp, common carp, Asian carp, grass carp, black carp, silver carp, big head carp. I'm going to pull out the food processor now and start blending and fusing everything. Going in are five tablespoons of coconut milk. Now I'm to add three tablespoons of fish sauce. If you don't have this, I suppose you could add soy sauce. Very fragrant. Now, two cloves of garlic. Now I'm supposed to add a teaspoon of fresh grated ginger, but you know, I like shortcuts, so I've got ginger paste. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of this. Remember the chopped cilantro, time for that now. The recipe says a half teaspoon of chili powder, but come on, we need spice. I'm going to use a teaspoon. The recipe calls for a half teaspoon of red pepper flakes. This time I'm going to do what I'm told. Now I've got a half teaspoon of ground cumin. the lime zest wasn't in the recipe, but it has to help. It's going to lend it a little more authenticity. So I've lined the baking sheet with some parchment paper, and here I have a small-sized ice cream scoop. I'm going to use this to make uniform sized fish patties. Let's get going. Boy, is this sticky. This is like Elmer's. You know, my friend Chris from Muddy River Catfishing just made a video on how to make stink bait for catfish. Uh, unfortunately, this reminds me of that video. So with really wet hands, I'm trying to form them into patties. They do stick a little to the parchment. I'm getting our fish cakes ready to fry up. You know, I have to tell you, 
that famous celebrity food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks herself, has accepted my invitation for dinner tonight. If only I could summon the nerve to tell her I love her. If only I could say those three magical words. Uh, since we're making Thai food, maybe I'll say it in Thai. I've been doing some research on the language. Well, you see, then I wouldn't have all that anxiety. And with proper inflection, she'll understand me. So the recipe calls for just one tablespoon of coconut oil in a skillet to fry these babies. So I got out my coconut oil and it was in the refrigerator, but I mean, this is like granite. So I just poured some peanut oil in a lot more than one tablespoon too. about done. I just wanted to say hi to John. John is from a channel called Rivet Gardener. Man, can that man cook. I hope you give him a try. Look in and, and learn some new recipes. He is really a good cook. Let's take these off. So how about if we do a quick dipping sauce? Let's take about, oh, I don't know, three tablespoons, no, make it four, of mayo. How about equal amounts of sour cream? Now how about we add some dynamite? This is chili paste sauce. One tablespoon of chili paste. So this platter is looking really good, especially when I put those limes around there. Now let's just add some of these green onions. You know, in England they call them spring onions. Sometimes we call them scallions. It's looking good. Well, here we are again with that famous celebrity food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. Thanks so much, uh, Miss Cheeks. for. Oh, I can say Lulu now. Sure. Yeah, we've been uh, knowing each other for a while. Um, you know, um, You've had some of my uh, Thai fish cakes, and uh, could you give me your honest oh, opinion? Very delicious. Lots of good flavors in there. Yes. Very, oh, oh, thank you, good. thank you, thank you. You know, Miss Cheeks, there are three words I've been wanting to say to you for, oh, the past 50 years or so, but they're hard for me. So, I'll say it in the Thai language. Since we're having Thai food, um, here it is. Pom rak kun. Pom Rak Kun. Can you guess what that means? Uh, uh, I love raccoon. Oh, so close. Very uh, close. How mm. about time to eat? Uh, that'll work. Aww.